Bubbug9 here with another Minecraft video. So, today I'm down in Ancient City, because in this video I will be explaining some strategies for both uh, looting the chests in the Ancient City and escaping from a ward. But first, a couple of things I wanted to mention here. So, I know some other videos like this say to make the city completely safe before looting the chests, but I think doing so is not quite as fun and a bit too time-consuming. I have not included any of those strategies in this video. The second thing is, this video is going to be separated into two halves. In the first half, we will be covering strategies for looting the city without summoning a ward. In the second half of this video, we will be covering strategies to escape the ward and should one spawn in, despite your best efforts. But with that out of the way, let's get right to it with the first strategy for looting the city. And part one of this video. Use carpets to explore the city. To silence your footsteps, I recommend using carpets instead of wool blocks, because two wool makes three carpets, making carpet a more efficient use of wool. Use night vision potions instead of torches. Potions let you see farther and you only need one every eight minutes instead of every ten blocks. Surround chests with wool before opening them. Also, remember to check behind walls, too. If there's any shriekers, place wool on the wall behind the chest to block any sounds from reaching the shrieker. Avoid breaking blocks other than wool and carpets, unless absolutely necessary, as everything else makes noise when mined. And that concludes part one of this video. So, now we're on to summoning a warden. How to deal with warden is when they spawn in. Run out the way you came in and wait about one minute for the warden to be spawned. up with carpets in one of two ways. The first option is to go straight up and through the ceiling. The other option is to go up, then build out using wool. Make sure to target the edge of the carpet below the one you're standing on, or the block won't place. Throw an ender pearl, but be careful. Because this makes noise where it lands, you could spawn another ward. And I saved my favorite for last. I give you the cheese machine, shown by Impulse SV in the video linked in the corner of the screen. It's simple enough to build as soon as a warden spawns. And 
and it will completely mesmerize any warden nearby. Just don't push your luck by taunting the warden too much. And that's it for today. So, if you enjoyed this slightly different style video here and want to see a bit more of this sort of video in the future, please give it a like. If you really loved it, consider subscribing. And, well, that's about it for me for today. My name is Pillbug9, and so long till next time.